Carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a colorless, tasteless, odorless, non-irritating gas that is the byproduct of incomplete combustion. It is released from house fires, propane heaters, furnaces, car exhausts, and gasoline type generators. It can also be produced endogenously inside of the person through the metabolism of inhaled methylene chloride which is found in paint stripper. The classic scenario for carbon monoxide poisoning usually involves more than one person coming into the emergency department with a set of symptoms that sound very general and flu-like in description. Patients will generally come in complaining of pounding headache, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and feeling unwell. In certain areas of the country there's higher incidence of carbon monoxide poisoning during the winter months because patients or people tend to be indoors and running their furnace and the furnace itself might be having incomplete combustion and or poor exhaust so the carbon monoxide gas is able to enter into the household. Another classic scenario might be a case of a power outage and the person might be running a gasoline generator indoors improperly exhausted causing then the carbon monoxide gas to build up inside the household. So suspect this type of illness when you see not one but two or three members from the same household coming in with this constellation of symptoms. As far as mechanism of action, carbon monoxide binds to hemoglobin with a much greater affinity than oxygen. This creates a molecule called carboxyhemoglobin that then impairs tissue oxygenation. The signs and symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning are nonspecific, but the most common is headache, which is frequently described as quite intense and pounding. Nausea, vomiting, dizziness, and confusion, as well as ataxia, can occur. Patients will often complain of fatigue, and they can develop chest pain, shortness of breath, and then loss of consciousness can occur. The symptom complex is often mistaken for things as simple as viral syndromes. The classic textbook cherry red skin is rarely seen and is often associated with a lethal exposure. Carboxyhemoglobin can be detected via specific blood test or with a cooximeter. Normal levels of carboxyhemoglobin can range between 1 to 3 percent in non-smokers and perhaps as high as 10 or less than 10 percent in smokers. Clinicians should be aware that if a standard pulse oximeter is used, and this is the device that only measures the difference between oxyhemoglobin and deoxyhemoglobin, the reading will likely be falsely elevated in cases of carbon monoxide poisoning. Treatment for carbon monoxide poisoning includes immediate initiation of high flow oxygen via a non rebreather mask and hyperbaric oxygen therapy should be considered in those patients with a carboxy hemoglobin level greater than 25 percent equal to or greater than 15 percent if the person is a pregnant female this is due to the increased affinity of the fetal hemoglobin for carbon monoxide as well hyperbaric oxygen therapy should be considered in the treatment of carbon monoxide poisoning for any patient with a loss of consciousness EKG changes any persistent neurological deficit or any exposure that has been continuous and ongoing for greater than 24 hours.